Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Measuring Slew Rate with MXO Series Oscilloscopes. In this presentation, we'll explain how to measure slew rate using Rodian Schwartz MXO Series Oscilloscopes. This presentation assumes a basic understanding of slew rate and how it's measured. We'll review this on the next slide, but please see the presentation, Understanding Slew Rate Measurements, for somewhat more in-depth coverage of this topic. As the name implies, slew rate is a rate of change. That is, slew rate describes how quickly a signal transitions between a low level and a high level, or vice versa. It's calculated from the rise time and the change in amplitude, that is the amount of voltage or current change. Slew rate therefore has units of volts or amps per second. The high and low levels are defined as percentage values, relative to the maximum waveform amplitude. Most often the low level is 10% and the high level is 90%, although in some cases 20% and 80% are used. A high slew rate is desirable in some applications, such as in power electronics, but may be undesirable in other applications. Slew rate is easy to measure with any Rodian Schwartz MXO series oscilloscope. All that's required is a single channel and an appropriate probe. In many cases, a simple single-ended passive probe is sufficient, although differential voltage probes are often used when making certain types of power electronics measurements. And of course, a current probe would be needed if measuring the slew rate of a given current. As with all other oscilloscope measurements, the horizontal, vertical, and trigger systems should all be set appropriately for acquiring the measured waveform. Once everything has been configured, there are two ways in which slew rate can be measured. Manually, using cursors, or by means of an automated measurement function. Let's start by looking at manual slew rate measurements. Manual slew rate measurements are made using cursors, which are accessed by pressing the cursor button on the front of the MXO, or by selecting cursor from the main menu. The first step is verifying that cursors are enabled and that type is set to X and Y. Our waveform in this example rises from 0 volts to 1 volt, so our high and low levels will be 900 millivolts and 100 millivolts, and delta V will be 800 millivolts. Next we position the Y cursors at these voltage levels. Note that track waveform must be disabled to set these values numerically. The vertical or X markers are then placed on the points where the waveform crosses the 90% and 10% levels. And the time difference, delta x, is then read off the screen. Here, the value is 8.8 .8 nanoseconds. Using these values, we can then compute slew rate by dividing delta v by t to get 90.9 .9 megavolts per second. Note, however, that this value can also be read directly off the screen from the cursor values displayed along the bottom. A much easier way to measure slew rate is using the MXO's built-in automatic slew rate measurement, which can be started using the measure hard key on the front of the MXO, or by selecting measurement from the main MXO menu. Choose add measurement, and then under category select amplitude over time all. You may need to scroll right to find the slew rate measurement items. After checking these measurements, simply press Add at the bottom of the screen to have that MXO automatically calculate and display these values. In this example, we've added both rising and falling slew rate to our automatic measurements. These values are then automatically calculated for the current acquisition and are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Here, we see a rising edge slew rate of 82.35 kilovolts per second and a much slower falling edge slew rate of minus 20.89 kilovolts per second. Slew rate is often measured and reported as statistical values, and these can be enabled by choosing statistics from the measurement screen. Statistical values of min, max, mean, standard deviation, etc. are all displayed at the bottom of the screen and are updated in real time. The clear results button can be used to clear and reset the statistical results. Let's end with a brief summary. 
Slew rate is very easy to measure using any MXO series oscilloscope and an appropriate voltage or current probe. Recall that slew rate is defined as the rate of change in a voltage or current over time. One way to measure slew rate is to manually place cursors on the acquired waveform at the 10% and 90% amplitude levels, and then look at the time difference between these points. However, the easiest and most accurate method is using the MXO's automated measurement functionality, which supports both rising and falling slew rate measurements. In addition, using the automated measurement allows statistical values, such as min, max, mean, etc., to be calculated and displayed over multiple acquisitions. This concludes our presentation, Measuring Slew Rate with MXO Series Oscilloscopes. If you'd like to learn more about other oscilloscope measurements, or about Rodian Schwartz oscilloscopes, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.